Well, it's day nine of the Virginia Proud Weather Tour, and today Storm Team 10 Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowich is visiting Lexington, which is the Rockbridge County seat, of course. And Jeff is taking a look at the city's rich history, scenic views, and upcoming events. He joins us now live at the historic Robert E. Lee Hotel. So, Jeff, I mean, you have a beautiful view behind you. Tell us a little bit about what the area has to offer. We do. Guys, the area has so much to offer. And joining me right now is Patty Williams. She is the director of marketing for tourism here in Lexington and Rockbridge County. Uh, Patty, we're right now right along the vibrant downtown street, Main Street here in Lexington. We know that there's a lot to offer in downtown Lexington. What else does the area have to offer? You know, outdoor recreation is growing in popularity. Rockbridge County has 64,000 acres of national forest lands. We've got the James and the Maury River. And of course, we've got the Blue Ridge Parkway, mm -hmm. Una Vista, and Glasgow are Appalachian Trail communities and they welcome hikers from all over the world every season. And how can people learn more about these recreation opportunities? We've printed a new Get Outside brochure and we've launched a new website, rockbridgeoutdoors.com. The, web the website lists uh, hiking trails, bike routes, uh, paddling trips, mm -hmm. fishing holes, and even some rock climbing. Now, are there any outdoor recreation themed events coming up? There are. We have the first annual Fish and Pick Bluegrass Festival. There's going to be three blue grass bands, including uh, Junior Sisk and the Ramblers. There'll be two concerts. There's going to be a great fishing contest with a thousand rainbow trout stocked in the river. Um, there'll be campsite, cooking demonstrations, archery, and there's even going to be a paintball obstacle course. Did you say paintball obstacle yes, course? I'm there. <laughs> oh, that makes two of us. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, Patty. We'll have more coming up at 530 as we talk more about all the happenings going on here in Lexington and Rockridge County. Guys, it is starting to rain a little bit here and the clouds are looking pretty ominous. So whether we'll be inside or outside, I'm not sure. But reporting right now outside, I'm Storm Team 10 Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowitz. Back to you guys. Day 9 of the Virginia Proud Weather Tour takes us to Lexington in Rockbridge County. And that area, of course, is well known for its ties to Robert E. Lee and the Civil War. But there are a number of other landmarks and destinations to visit uh, for those people both near and far. And Storm Team 10 Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowitz joins us in downtown just outside of the Robert E. Lee Hotel. Mm -hmm. So Jeff... Uh, of course, Lexington is looking forward to kind of creating some, some milestones here. So. That's exactly right, John. There are milestones galore here. There's a lot going on here. Joining me now is Corey Burkstresser. He is vice chair of the tourism board and also GM and owner of the Lehigh Travel Plaza. Uh, Corey, Lexington and Rockbridge landmarks are celebrating a lot this year. What are some of the milestones? Uh, well, the, the city of Lexington um, just earns its designation as a Virginia Main Street community. Uh, the Virginia Horse Center is celebrating its 30th anniversary. The Natural Bridge uh, transitions into a state park in September, and Destination Station at White's Travel Center c continues to expand. It, it's really exciting to watch our landmarks evolve to attract more visitors and thus grow the local economy. Yeah, and are there any um, new attractions opening this summer? Um, yes. Oh, no problem, no problem at all. Um, the Lexington Food Tour, uh, put on by Tor Roanoke, mm -hmm. uh, will celebrate the food, history, and architecture uh, of Lexington. Uh, fans of uh, Mark Klein of Foamhenge fame will be excited with the opening of Dinosaur Kingdom 2. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the, the Miller's House Museum at Jordan's Point, the, the, they're going to be celebrating the roads, rivers, and railways that helped develop Lexington and Rockbridge County. Is there a strong music scene going on here? We've got a few musicians playing behind us, and they're awesome. Yeah, we do. Have, we have a unique and uh, diverse, growing music scene. Um, we actually kick off our season next weekend mm -hmm. with Rock the Bridge uh, on the 20th, and the Lime Kiln offer, opens their season on the 21st. Mm -hmm. and, and they have a lot of great bands coming this year, the Fabulous String Dusters, Seldom Seen, nationally known bands like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's really exciting. Um, for, for any dates, you can visit the Lexington, Virginia, spelled out, dot com website. And thank you very much for your time, Corey. So much happening here. So many fun things going on. Of course, spring has sprung here in Lexington as it did in Floyd yesterday. And tis the season for lots of events to happen, guys. <laughs> I am no globetrotter, but thank you very much for the kind words. I do want to tell you that there's a severe thunderstorm warning until 7:15 for Eastern Bedford County, also for the city of Lynchburg. We had a great time here in Rockbridge County, especially here in Lexington at the Robert E. Lee Hotel. But before we leave, the folks here want to give you a message. Come on and see us in Lexington, and tomorrow we'll be in Allegheny County. Couldn't have said it any better myself. Tomorrow we'll be in.
in Allegheny County at the historic Masonic Theater. We'll see you in Clifton Forge at 5, 530 and 6, reporting live here in Lexington with all these fine folks. We're having a great time. We'll be here for a little while longer, weather permitting. I'm Storm Team 10 Chief Meteorologist Jeff Haddowich. Back to you.